Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Smart and Safe Small Business Podcast. My name is Alex, and today I'm here with Matt Lovell. And for those of you that don't know, Matt is a founding partner of Well Insurance LLC and partner of Von Geiger & Associates, Inc., where is a 19-year licensed insurance agent specializing in commercial accounts. Matt built a solid foundation helping customers across the country in every aspect of their insurance needs. Clients choose to repeatedly work with him for his prompt service, ethics, and experience, and he feels that it is his duty to not only sell the products, but educate the client throughout every step of the process. And today, we're going to be talking a little bit about insurance for e-commerce businesses. Thank you so much for joining us today, Matt. Hi, you're welcome. I appreciate you having me, Alex. So, Matt, who's the ideal client? What sort of businesses do you work with primarily in the e-commerce space? Anybody that's selling a product online, product or service for that matter, um, you know, whether that's the, the small retail arbitrage seller, um, you know, all the way to the, the private label seller and, and everybody in between. Uh, if, you're, if you're online, you have, a, you have an insurance need, you have an exposure. And so that's, uh, you know, that's that, anybody that's online, that, that's our target customer. And so tell me, what is one specific insurance problem that you help your clients solve? Uh, we tend to help customers close the gap in their business by offering them a, um, a general products liability policy. Um, this protects the assets of the business. Uh, it prevents them in the event that they're involved in a lawsuit and they're sued. Uh, the policy will hire an attorney to defend them. Uh, we'll also pay any judgments that are deemed against them. Uh, it also satisfies Amazon's terms of service um, that they may or may not realize that, that they signed and it does require, have an entrance requirement. What are the typical symptoms that people are experiencing when it comes to e-commerce insurance? I, I guess most sellers don't, don't understand that when they sign the terms of service that there, there is an entrance requirement as far as Amazon is concerned. Uh, Amazon requires them to have a $1 million general liability policy name them as an additional insured under that policy, and also provide them with a certificate of insurance um, to keep on file. And uh, we, we, we can help sellers with, with that, whole, that whole process every step of the way. And have you seen sellers have their listings pulled because they don't have the proper insurance? Amazon does not enforce that rule yet, uh, but it's, it's just a matter of time before they do. Uh, you, you look at a, at a few of the lawsuits that have happened recently, uh, the, the, the dog leash lawsuit where the woman bought, bought a dog leash, retractable dog leash from Amazon. She started walking her dog, the leash snapped and broke, came back, it hit her in the eye and blinded her. Uh, the courts ruled that, that Amazon was liable for that. It, we believe it was a Chinese seller um, that, that had the product listed. So there's probably not gonna be any, any recourse for Amazon for that seller, but uh, it's just a matter of time before Amazon reacts to those lawsuits they're gonna they're gonna stop paying those lawsuits at the end of the day and they're gonna they're gonna put that back on the seller sooner or later absolutely so what are some common mistakes that people make when they're trying to solve this problem on their own one common mistake we see is that amazon sellers will call their local insurance agent that writes their home in their car um not saying those are bad people not saying they don't not saying they don't know what they're doing but um uh, most local insurance agents don't understand the e-commerce space. They don't understand what, what an e-commerce seller does. Uh, they think they sit at home and, and punch keys on the keyboard all day long. And it's, a, it's simply not like that. Uh, you've got private label sellers that are sourcing products from, from overseas and from China specifically. Uh, they essentially turn into the manufacturer when you get something from, from overseas uh, because you can't segregate back against a foreign manufacturer. So that's a, that, that's a huge problem is it's not all e-commerce sellers need to be classified as an internet retailer. Uh, you know, lots of times they need to be classified as an importer or more specifically, you know, as a manufacturer for the products that they're actually um, listing online for sale. Very cool. So what is one valuable free action that the audience can implement today that's going to help them solve their insurance problems? Uh, they can get a general liability policy in place. Uh, this not only helps protect them in the event that they're involved in a lawsuit, that one of their products either causes property damage or bodily injury, uh, but the policy will also pay to, to hire an attorney to defend them in a court of law. Uh, th these days, attorney fees can be, can be extremely, extremely expensive. So 
uh, you know, even if even if the lawsuit is frivolous and, and doesn't have any bearings, uh, you know, they still could be involved in a lawsuit, and, and the policy would, would respond uh, in that regard. Wonderful. And what's one free, valuable resource that you can direct people to that will help further educate them on e-commerce insurance? We have a ton of information on our website. Um, that's www.well-insurance.com. Uh, lots of useful information. There's an easy form there to get a quote. It takes about two minutes to complete. Uh, we're happy, happy to help. Very cool. And last question here. What's one question that I should have asked you that would be of great value to the listeners? Um, and the answer, please. I would say that what, what does a general liability policy cost? Uh, what, what is, what's it going to cost me out of my business? Uh, typically speaking, a general and products liability policy, in most cases, um, depending on what you're selling and, and how much you're selling, you know, really, uh, it's probably going to be less than $500 a year. A lot of people wow. don't realize that that a million dollars in coverage is, you know, can be as, as little as you know, three hundred fifty to four or five hundred dollars a year. So, uh, I would trade five hundred bucks a year for a million dollars in coverage every day of the week. So Absolutely. Pretty, pretty coverage. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for joining us. For the listeners out there that are looking to protect their business as they're scaling their e-commerce ventures, go check out Matt Well-Insurance.com. I appreciate it, Alex. Thank you.